Hi there, I'm Deborah O'Brien. Welcome to my home. Today, I am going to be unboxing, assembling, and giving a test run to Ab Squat. So this is a piece of home gym equipment I'm super excited about because A, it has a really small footprint. So I have a very small home. I don't have a separate space that's like dedicated gym. And I want to be able to work out at home, but I want to be able to pull it out, set it up myself, something that's lightweight, and then be able to fold it up and put it away when I'm done, but still get a really nice full body workout. So that's one of the reasons for the ab squat. Second is I'm in my 50s and I have not seen the inside of a gym in two years. I've had three surgeries. I've just been getting back into the groove of things and there's certain areas that I want to target and I'm starting to have a hard time with. So things like the old buttocks, right? You know, being able to get some lift there, working on my inner and outer thighs, working on core abdominal muscles, right? building strength and also then working on just toning and tightening everything. Problem is that I have back issues. I have knee issues. So when I do a squat unassisted now or I do it with weight, heaven forbid, <laughs> I just hear bone on bone crunch every squat super uncomfortable, it can be painful, I get a lot of swelling, and it really limits my workout. So the ab squat is gonna help me to um, get some assistance with that, take some of the pressure off of the knees and the back. The third thing it's really gonna do is help me with my form. I don't have somebody in here that's a gym instructor that's yelling at me going, you know, pull in your core muscles, stand up straight. <laughs> so. One of the things that the ab squat is going to allow me to do is not have to even think about that as much or have someone chirping in my ear. It automatically, because of the way that you're situated on the machine, is going to force me to have proper posture, which will also help with the stress that I'm, I'm getting on my joints when I'm not doing that. So I'm super jazzed. I'm going to open it up now and get it set up, and then we'll do a run through and see what we think. All right, now we've opened the box. I've laid everything out so you can see what's included. So Ab Squat actually has a website that you can go to. It's absquatvideos.com. And there you are going to find all kinds of fun workout videos to kind of get you going. And then we have a quick cheat sheet <laughs> for different exercises and how to set up and do those. They've also included a 28-day diet plan. So everything that you should be eating if you're looking to get a little weight loss in as part of your workout plan. Of course, there is the user manual. They've included a mat for working out. It is actually really nice. So it's textured, it's non-slip, and it's moisture resistant. And then of course, there's the equipment itself. And then here we have our resistance band and setup. I'm gonna be using that a lot for things like inner thigh workout, um, all of our arm stuff. So triceps, biceps, shoulders, all of that. So that should be a lot of fun. All right, let's put it together and get started.
Okay, so we've got the ab squat completely set up here. And I think to start what I'm gonna do is just roll through some of the basic exercises that are here on the ab squat exercise chart that they give you. Just to kind of test it out and just, you know, just do a first run through. So I'm gonna start with just, just a basic squat, right? So just a slight distance, kind of like hip length apart with the legs, hands on top of the bar, nice upright position. Let's give it a roll. So you get some resistance going down and then a little assistance coming up, which is nice. So I'm definitely feeling it in these muscles. What I'm not getting is crunch. So three knee surgeries, pretty major ones. And I'm at a place now in my 50s where I am, I'm bone on bone in those knees. And it is not pretty. But I can actually do this without feeling that rub of the bones inside my knees, which is incredible. And I'm getting a burn while I'm doing it, which is fantastic. Okay, so that's just a really basic squat. Okay, so we think of this as being an, an abdominal, a glute, a leg exercise machine. However, there's more. <laughs> just wait, there's more. We also have this mini gym. So we've got some resistance training that we can do as well. So all kinds of great exercises. So if I wanna get into my shoulders, I can do some step aways and lift. Right? You have the ability to get some bicep curls in here. Maybe just some, burn some lifts. We can also get our triceps going. Oh, the triceps. <laughs> so, years ago, when my youngest was a little bit smaller, he said to me, Mom, I drew you a picture. And I'm like, oh, what did you draw me? <laughs> and it was a woman standing there like this, me, <laughs> I guess, with like what looked like this coat that had these things going on under the arms. And I said, what is that? And he says, Mom, that's your bat wings. And I'm like, oh, it's time to go to the gym. <laughs> Kids and their truth telling, boy, it'll, it'll knock you for one. So yeah, that wings. And again, look at how easily I can move this around. And that's something to think about, you know, it's funny with, with gym equipment. It, I have some things that I've had, you know, over the years where great pieces of equipment, but they are so heavy. Like things that I can't actually move, you know, myself become really problematic because you could, you know, keep all of the great form and have something that really works with, you know, making sure that you're not putting pressure on joints and whatnot, but if it's super heavy and then you have to go lift it, lift it awkwardly to put it away or move it and you end up hurting yourself, you kind of defeat the purpose, right? So I love the fact that this is lightweight. It's got a lot of different options for me and just is a really, really cool piece of equipment. So thumbs up to the app squat for sure.